What's up there guys, Gareth William 414 here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. In today's video, 10 facts about Karibo. This video was heavily requested by you guys and I'm very excited to start bringing videos to you that you've requested yourselves. So I hope that you enjoy this one. And of course on this channel I do Yu-Gi-Oh character deck duels, character deck profiles, Yu-Gi-Oh openings and fact videos just like this one. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And of course, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to smash that like button and share Share this video with a friend that's into Yu-Gi-Oh as it really does help this channel out. So Karibo, he is a one star, dark attribute, fiend type monster. He has an attack of 300 and a defense of 200. His effect is, during your opponent's battle phase, you can discard this card to reduce the battle damage inflicted to your life points to zero. So with that being said, let's get straight in to the facts. An interview with Kazuki Takashi occurred in 2005 in the Swedish Shonen Jump. He listed his favourite monsters from Yu-Gi-Oh! and Karibo actually finished third. Karibo roughly translates to chestnut person in Japanese. It is also the Japanese name for the Super Mario enemy known as Goomba in the international regions. In the anime, this monster self-destructs on contact with the enemy. This is shown with the spell card Detonate, which works best after using Multiply, another support card specifically for Karibo. Karibo appears in the card artworks of Gift of the Week, Detonate, and the Flute of Summoning Karibo. It's actually suggested that Sangan might actually be related to Karibo. The Japanese name for Sangan is pronounced Kurita, and interestingly, the manga card art for both Sangan and Karibo have both monsters share the same pose and the same background. This card may also be a counterpart to the card Hanawata. Hanawata stops you from taking effect damage, while Karibo prevents battle damage. This could be further enforced by the card being a Dark Fiend, while Hanawata is a light fairy with the same level and inverted attack and defense. Karibo has its own counterpart, Wretched Ghost of the Attic. Karibo has three card artworks, two in the TCG and three in the OCG. This surprises me because Karibo, I believe, is one of the most iconic monsters in the game. Maybe not as iconic as the Dark Magician or the Blue Eyes White Dragon, but I think he's on par with cards like Dark Magician Girl. So it surprises me that he only has the three artworks. What do you think? Because of Karibo's popularity, he now of course has his own archetype. Cards include obviously Karibo himself, Wing Karibo, Wing Karibo level 9, Wing Karibo level 10, Kuribon, Kurivolt, Kuri Photon, Rainbow Karibo, Kuri Bandit, Sphere Karibo, Relink Karibo, Clear Karibo, Junk Karibo, Kuriborn, and of course others that haven't yet been printed in the TCG or OCG, such as Curry Babylon, used by Yugi in the Waking the Dragons arc. These monsters are used throughout the Yu-Gi-Oh series, but oddly enough, Yusei Fudo and Yu Sakaki are the only main protagonists in the anime who don't have a card from this series in their decks, though Yusei's manga counterpart has used one, whereas Yu has yet been seen with one. Yuki has been using Karibo ever since episode 5 when he first summoned it in defense mode against Weevil Underwood in Dollar's Kingdom. But the first time he actually used the card's effect, 124 episodes later in his duel against Kaiba in the Battle City Finals. Kaiba activates the effect of Obelisk the Tormentor to tribute Blade Knight and Sword of Soul to destroy all of Yugi's monsters and inflict 4,000 damage to him. Yugi then discarded Karibo from his hand to nullify the damage he would have taken from the effect of Obelisk the Tormentor. Yugi then thanks his monster as he would have lost this duel without its help. Kaiba then becomes greatly angered that Yugi would defy and mock his Egyptian god's power with Karibo. But thank you so much for watching guys, they were 10 facts on Karibo. Like I said earlier, this was a heavily requested monster for me to cover, so I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Of course, I've got a lot of other requests from you on monsters that you'd like to see me cover. I've got a bit of a list going at the moment, so I'm working my way through them. But of course, feel free if you'd like to see me cover a monster, card, character, anything like that, comment in the comments section below and I'll add them to the list. I will certainly get around to doing them. As well as this, if you are new to my channel and you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more fact videos like this or the other Yu-Gi-Oh content that I provide, of course subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all of my future content. As well, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button and share this video with a friend as it really, really does help this channel out. But that is all from me guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care.